All right guys, so the tablet that I have here today is gonna give you maximum eye protection. So without further ado, let's jump into the video right away. Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Now today's video is going to be a bit different because the tablet here, like I mentioned earlier on, is here to solve a problem. You know, these days we are seeing tablets being more and more used by people all the time. It's not just kids, teens, even yourself and myself and even the older generation. Everyone seems to have their hands on the tablet right now and they are spending more and more time on their tablets. So what we have here is the Huawei MatePad 11.5 Paper Matte Edition. And the tablet here is actually meant to solve eye problems while still retaining its productivity aspects of the tablet itself. Let's take a quick look at what Huawei has done to the display. Alright, so before we begin, like my MatePad 11 Paper Matte Edition video, I just want to give you a very quick recap on what this display is all about and how is it different from, you know, something say like a matte screen protector. I know a lot of you are going to ask like, this display is matte and all that, but isn't it just like a matte screen protector? Well, the quick answer is no. So the paper matte display here is actually made from a nano-level anti-glare etching technology that helps to reduce up to 97% of light interference. So in simple words, whenever you have a certain light source, it doesn't matter if it's just a small lamp or even the sun that shines on your display, it will soften and reduce the harsh reflective lights that falls onto the display. Now other than that, the anti-glare is not like your typical screen protector and it's actually TUV right lens certified for reflection free. And bear in mind that this is the only tablet in the market with this certification. Now not only is this more comfortable for your viewing, but it also helps to protect your eyes. Now just take a look at this very quick comparison. On one hand, I have a tablet with a standard display and you can clearly see that on that other tablet, it's almost as if you're looking directly at the light source with its super clear reflection. Now this is what actually causes your eyes to get tired or strained. Now other than glare, another thing that causes strain or eye tiredness or even eye fatigue is actually blue light and flicker. So many tablets out there do not take this into consideration with their displays. Now for the paper matte display, it has obtained the TUV red certification for low blue light and flicker free. Now this is very important because blue light actually causes damage to your eyes while flickers which you won't see with your naked eye actually causes a lot of strain to your eyes. Other than that, the paper matte display has also obtained SGS Low Visual Fatigue Premium Performance Certification which essentially means that people who view the paper matte display will only get a very low level of visual fatigue even after 40 minutes of watching videos. So long story short, how does this actually relate to you, your kids, your friends or whoever who is using a tablet? Well in this case, I really think that you should strongly consider protection to your eyes with this kind of display. This might be something that you want to check out. Now, most of you might already know that kids these days, they have access to all kinds of devices. It's not just their smartphones, but also tablets. I do have a friend who has a young kid who actually, you know, learns stuff on their tablet. They're reading ebooks, they are doing some drawing, some sketching on the tablet. So with an anti-glare display with low blue light and flicker free, it will definitely help to reduce the harm that's going to their eyes. Now, other than that, the paper matte display is also useful, not just in dark environments or indoor environments, but also when it comes to outdoor situations. Now, I'm sure a lot of uh, sales agents or sales people, they actually bring out their presentations on their tablets or maybe even on their computers and those devices are actually very reflective and it's very difficult to see the display. However, with the paper matte display, the glare from the sun can be significantly reduced and softened and this allows you to see the display clearly while not hurting your eyes. Now having said all that, clearly we can see that Huawei is putting in a lot of efforts into creating an eye protective display. However, the tablet is also good for your productivity needs. Now it actually works really well with the Huawei M Pencil 2 which is great for writing, drawing or even sketching. In fact, the writing and sketching experience is quite unique as the display comes with micro vibrations and it actually gives you a more realistic paper writing kind of experience. Now one of my favorite apps is actually the Huawei Notes and that's because you can put in all your thoughts while making use of super hub to copy and paste like images across your phone to tablet super easily. Also just in case you are wondering, the Huawei MatePad 11.5 Paper Matte Edition does come with that PC level WPS. So if you're going to be doing your everyday office apps on the 3x2 display, it's going to be super convenient. Now another question that I get asked very often is whether the tablet itself will be able to support Google applications and the quick answer is yes, you will actually be able to download your favorite applications directly from the app gallery. Now before you wrap up, it's worth mentioning that the tablet itself is also very slim and lightweight. It's only 6.85 millimeters if I'm not mistaken and 499 grams which actually makes it very convenient for one-handed use. Other than that, it is powered by the Snapdragon 7 Gen 1 which is good enough for all your productivity needs. It comes with 8GB of RAM as well as 256GB of internal memory to store all your favorite applications. Alright guys, so with that said, that's a very quick look at the Huawei MatePad 11.5 Paper Matte Edition. Now this device is going to be available for sale on March 1st for 1,999 ringgit. Other than that, Huawei will also be throwing in a lot of freebies worth up to 1,147 ringgit. There's going to be quite a fair bit of stuff. I'll put in more information down in the description box below. If you have any further questions, feel free to drop a comment. Thank you for watching all the way to the end and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Do take care and stay safe. Bye-bye.